Dude, I'm I'm eight and one. I'm eight and one with this list. Akshan Demacio is low key. I think this is like one of the better Akshan decks, and it's been performing good against the other Akshan decks. This is low key, bro. Five eight into Sivo and Rune Runner. It's pretty good. I don't hate it. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. This is a reasonable hand. I can go Rock Hopper turn two. Black Shan turn two. I'll keep the Chain Vest. I play one Chain Vest. It's going to help against this deck. It's also pretty cheesy as well. Don't want to die? Don't do terrible things. Don't want to die? Don't do terrible things. Very true. Very, very true. Sands beneath me and winds behind me. Yeah, the buried in ice, the buried in ice and hit that stairs. This is justice. Might be a little bit sus. You could just put ruination in there. Are you trying to make it more of a control deck or are you trying to make it more of a like a tempo deck? I guess that's what you should be asking yourself. Do you want it to be more focused on control or do you want it to be more focused on like the mid-range value that uh Viego provides? But it looks like you're somewhere torn in the middle, just from a first glance. I guess here's where Bright Steel Protector would be a very good angle. And repost would be also good. Not like this. Quick hands make quick work. Yeah, Ruination does kill your board. So maybe we don't want to kill our board then. Chase what you want without mercy. It that stairs, as well as buried in ice or a cute combo together. For sure. Looks like the uh slam the attack. What is this? Is like a judgment play or something? Oh, he's just gonna kill his unit off. Fair enough, we put him down to what, four? <laughs> Jesus Christ. And maybe now he develops Viago? And we just have double Ruin Runners. Oh man, Ruin Runner is so retarded. Uh, Radiant Guardian is playable. He does not have it, very lucky. You think it's just cracked? Fair enough. I think this turn we just slap Ruin Runner. Is everyone okay? So this drags Ruin Runner. This drags another unit. We never developed this. Pass angle is just fine as well. Maybe we go wider. Any man into a monster. Fixing the world one scoundrel at a time. Fixing the world one scoundrel at a time. People, don't look the other way. Okay, so we played the uh, Scythria at six mana. So, Scythria of the Lady of the Clouds might not be playable. I'm just scared if he has double Spectral Matron. I'm tempted just to open attack Steady here. Now. Because we have Golden Aegis too, I might be able to cheese some sort of lethal here. We'll just see what happens. He has to respond to this attack. In some shape or form. So we can maybe commit a uh, 
a shape stone onto Treasure Seeker and see kind of like where we're at at that point. As soon as I do this, so we haven't got the Ruin Runner Golden Aegis, but it's probably just acceptable. We kind of do have to win this turn. He might have like another single combat or something. Boom. So uh, there's no way I can make you survive. Unless I pump this up to seven, uh, nine attack. save itself you know yeah we want to we're gonna pump this up to nine attack aren't we you can thank me later so now we theoretically have a uh, golden acres out still we no longer have that out very sus we're just trading pumps I'm missing one pump okay so maybe he just pumps maybe he just drops Sithria here we have golden Aegis which I think we open with immediately So he theoretically has lethal. Because he can drag. No, he doesn't have lethal here, right? I think we're straight chilling. Give spell shield first. Maybe. We might need this for other cards. So if I play Ruin Runner, he's forced to attack. Otherwise, I can go for the Vulnerable and kill him on this. So I think this might lock down the game, theoretically. No. He just drags here, drags. Oh, this is a bit awkward. They told me to keep this one, but I like you. We can't play Ruin Runner. It doesn't quite set up lethal. But if he doesn't do anything here, I could potentially find a overwhelm. Yeah, this makes more sense. Okay. For Demacia! This works too. Ruin Runner is the strongest ally I died this game. True. So that's kind of lethal as well. I mean, I don't honestly know what matters here. Pretty sure this should be lethal. Whoa! One step closer to a world without villains. It's a meta call, Anita. That's all it is. It's a meta call. 
Your opponent plays Ruin Runner on turn five. You have nine mana. You Vile Feast and Vengeance the Ruin Runner. And then your opponent redevelops. And then you're dead. You play Vengeance against your opponent's Lee Sin. They play Deny. As I said, to remove stuff, I think you need to be playing bigger units than your opponent. It's all about the quick attack and the vulnerables and stuff like that. Ice Fell Arch is a decent card. You know why? It develops tempo. Uh, we're versing Irelia Azir. I'm curious how this matchup is going to play out, but I'll keep Sivir and I'll keep Akshan. Ruin Runner is going to be slightly too slow, and Preservarium is definitely going to be too slow. A little further, bingo. Careful. You could, you could just play units. Play it like an Endure deck. I do not break rules. I where you just play units. Like. Play it like a Nasus deck, where you just play units. So your opponent's gonna play sparring student. So we're playing treasure seeker here. Look at this tiny devil. The desert by my side. Oh my goodness. I could stop his attack with waking sands. But maybe I just want him to attack anyway. I'm gonna play waking sands. Waking sands is the only card that honestly makes sense here. And we don't play around Shapestone, so we always block with Akshan here, depending on what he swings with. He might only swing with a 2-1. What is this card? One mana? Hello? Wait. A oh, Wrath of Calling. If he doesn't attack this turn at all, that's a good outcome for me. Wow, that's a fantastic outcome for me. I mean, we don't get Sivir procs, but honestly, I think that's completely fine. Let's play Sivir. Nothing's lost. It's just waiting to be found. And you Hopefully, he doesn't pump two today. units into sparring, so I can swing with uh, action effectively. We've met before, Sivir, in right. another life. Tell that Sivir hi. When I this looks pretty good. He now. never blocks it. He tanks seven. Creature. Okay. Apparently, we're blocking with uh, Azir. I guess he's happy to trade shape stones. This is going to be down to the wire boys. Hang on, Buzzball. Hey. How's the market today, Karima? Full of heavy purses and empty heads. Holy shit. Wait, that that skin looks fresh, dude. What the heck? Okay, who are we granting something to? Perhaps Akshan gets a bit of a buff here. None of these cards are very effective. Which is a bit sus. I guess we'll take Challenger. Very sus. Very sus draws. Pray, pray for no... Here's your card. Not worth my time. Oh, for no shape stone. We're praying for no shape stone, guys. I believe that there's going to be no shape stone. All right, fantastic. Stand down. So we have a weird play where, where I can pre-commit a shape stone, so I can get an extra blocker this turn. I don't think we're dead regardless, so maybe it's fine just to chill. Watch your head. Sweep the leg. Follow my lead. Arise. Tell the people what you have seen today. <laughs> Took it fair and square. Call that an offer. Hug it out. Hmm? 
The world won't save itself, you know. Fixing the world one scoundrel at a time. Hug it out. I don't think he has shape stone. I'm gonna block into Irelia here. Alright, it's pretty good for us. I'm a woman of principle. Mine is kill and get paid. Predict, then draw one. Uh, we'll take Treasure Seeker here. Yoink. This is sus. Danger pays. It's a living. I think we're pre-committing here. And we're going for an open attack. You can thank me later. I don't know if we're going to be able to push enough damage here. So we always just jam this here, right? I don't think we had lethal. So we can clear the Azir because he can't retreat it. Otherwise he like kind of dies. What do you call that technique? Time to swindle some nice merchants, huh, Karima? If they were nice, they were No, not the elusive unit. Give me Pock. No. Hey. Nothing personal. I can't do anything on the stack here. <sighs> we need sharp sight or concerted strike. Let's draw two cards. If I play Golden Aegis, we lose because he attacks immediately. He has exactly lethal damage because of the Ribbon Dancer. I have no elusive threat. I've got two plays here. I either go for the Ricochet or I go for the Preservarium, hoping to draw uh, Concerted Strike or Sharp Sight. What do you think gives me better chances of winning? The random Ricochet or drawing into Concerted or Sharp? This is so this sad. By the hour. Honestly, we were so close to winning. I need, I would need two ricochets. I mean, I could hit. Yeah, probably Siva spell. Not only did we hit the Green Glade duo, but we hit his fucking Nexus as well. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, bro.
Gently, gently. <laughs> Watch your head. I guess we have action available. Don't want to die? Don't do terrible things. So we had no one or two drop, no I have the dragon, no Zoe. On turn three. Open attack's fine. I guess he could have some combat tricks for a tasty Fae Folk. Speak, stars. Mentor. Speak, I say. Cool eye batch. You like it? I mean shut up and fight. So top deck unit. One of these two cards could be a unit. Oh, that will work. I have to go for this. I want to go for this. Wow. Does he have another unit? Fuck you else. cannot run from absolution. Steady now. So we know he has Lee Sin for sure. So if I develop Ruin Runner, it's not achieving much. I think the best play I can make is the Relic of Power. So I'm gonna Sandstorm Charger. Is now out. Watch your head. And then swing, swing my cock like this. <laughs> for sure he'll block, right? Force is meaningless without skill. Trickster never loses because Zoe makes the roses! Chase what you want without mercy. He tapped out of mana, so this feels fine. Out of the way. Careful. I could full swing to force him to block with Lee Sin. And uh sorry, I mean force him to block with he's always blocking with Lee Sin, but we force him to block with like Zoe and the Charger. He pretty much has to block everything.
I've only played Chain Fist. Is he trying to flip Lee Sin? Act free of doubt. Chain vest rally action spell. I right, golden Aegis, true. I forgot about the action spell as well. So we want to slow play next turn. I go wide. Yeah, I just realized. I'm like, I could lose. Hush concussive palm. Like this, like any any spell to target Ruin Runner into concussive palm. It would specifically need to be hush and concussive, or just even double hush is fine. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. Our enemies would be foolish to underestimate you. He needs to find more units. We know that he's had, he's had a lack of units so far. It should be fine now. I guess there's no harm in going for Waking Sands here. We just force a Nopify. Also helps to play around Twin. Is Viego super bugged at the moment? One drop, two drop. Two spell, two spell. I'm thinking if he has no profile, hang on, let me just see how much damage we are doing. Yeah, we win. Twin, this is. I think that's a win. The world won't save itself, you know. Pretty sure it's a win. It's finest swing as it is. I know. If he has twin disciplines, okay, so he can put. Nah, uh, it's he's totally dead. The attacking order does matter a little bit here, because I'm forcing the sparkle fly to block into treasure seeker this way. I think if we swing with the sandstone charger in front of the treasure seeker. We might not kill him this turn. Time to surrender. Just say, oh, Only if he has twin disciplines onto, like, so he blocks with Lee Sin here. Uh, I have the dragon blocks into this uh, twin disciplines buff. Ready yourself. Yeah. This works. So he opts into that line, but that doesn't make any difference. He had the twin disciplines onto I have the dragon. But that wouldn't have mattered. Uh, actually, I don't think the anything mattered here. Us. Oh, see, that keeps him alive. I mean, his twin. Phew. 
Yep. Vengeance with a smile. However, the clockwork curator was pretty inter pretty interesting. I don't think you need to speed run the uh, Warlord's Palace. And if you were playing Clockwork Creator, maybe you might have more luck considering like Akshan Talia. That could be pretty cool. The False Kovu. Like you can make an Akshan Talia deck. My day is going okay. We were having like a really good climb early and then we had like five losses in a row and it kind of honestly just, it got to me. I'm not going to lie. Up until that moment, I was pretty, pretty good. Outside of the gaming thing, I'm okay though. What's going on, Belkraz? Hey, Smit. What's up, Carol? I actually, um... I actually did play some, uh, Akshan Talia. A little bit. I didn't find much success though. I'm gonna tank six here. We love it when they run. See what we see, soldier. I wonder why he didn't open with the right of calling. To deny my Akshan's attacks. Well, not really denying it, but I guess he didn't want to tank four damage or something. I don't know. It was quite odd. Gonna find a gift for an acting, right, Arda? Wrap him up tight. Far as the uh, we'll just play everyone running here. Yeah. Um. This is it. I command you. what we do but well, I could get you open hey thanks for Christ I appreciate that the cycle begins anew bluffing yeah but like sometimes they just don't even play around the bluffs as well Hmm? 
The world won't save itself, you know. Your time is done. Hunt it down. Judgment awaits. and treasure. Couldn't ask for more. All that glitters is mine. Business as usual. Return to dust. Walking with Nazis? What the heck? Surrender to me! Taking it, we're taking it back. The spirits will not tolerate your trespass. They can take it up with my blade. I will find her. Do it. Not worth my time. It's not a fake. Do I play around atrocity here? It's Not probably again. worth it. I guess we're looking for an elusive out here. Busted. Challenger might work as well. We've also got the Warlord's Horde that's about to finish countdown. Guess that could also do something for us. work as well. Gently, gently. <laughs> you will serve. So I think I, I'm pretty sure I just have lethal here, but just to be safe, we'll take the extra buff now instead of the card draw. I don't think there's any card draws that really make much of a difference. It's a living. Guess who just earned her bonus? Viego is getting very, very popular. This is a Viego Jarvan variant. I know he's playing this, the big Sithrias. I'm gonna look for champions. A zero to this. How have the games been today? Up and uh, mostly good. We had a five game loss streak, which was pretty tough. Um, but overall, we are still very positive today. I swear we didn't see Viego day one or day two, but Viego all of a sudden around about day three to four, getting pretty popular.
Must be nice living it's very the fact it doesn't core. seem that strong compared to the Akshan stuff. I would Robin slightly Blood. disagree. I would say Viego is starting to like, people are starting to like think about Viego more and play Viego more. And uh, Viego is actually very strong. But like, if you build a deck around purely Viego being your number one carry, maybe not. Right? You also, to be fair though, you, you also could potentially do that. But like something like, something like a uh, Sharima, right? Uh, this is fine. It's like aggro Shreema decks with Viego seem pretty good. Go get the shiny devil. She waits for me beyond the mist, my queen. So we're gonna look for challenger here or quick attack. Uh, it's tough. This plus two HP is fine. We can actually kill the Viego with the grappling hook, so I guess we'll go for that. Unless there's another sharp side. Single combat can help us to trade here. It needs to be second sharp sight. Single combat ultimately just leads to a trade, which is fair enough. Steady now. At this point, I'm probably fine to try and push two damage. It doesn't block here anyway. Two free damage. Sibur. I wonder how much we can how how slow we can afford to play this game. He obviously wants to play Jarvan. From old Mizuk, we can't play too slow. We cannot play too slow. Ours is but to do and die. Took it fair and square. Curse rep to the flag. Obviously, we don't get to utilize the lucky find, but that's okay. Move along, scavenger. There's nothing for you here. Hardly. Ever heard of a king's ransom? I don't think he had the sharp sight before, so maybe he still doesn't have it. Danger pays. If I'm forgotten, then oh. oh fuck. We're about to get blown out by our uh, Cythria here. Does he have the Matron plus Cythria? So I think this is another really good way to build Cythria with a uh, Viego as well. Just because like you spend so many resources attempting to deal with the Viego that then you just get blown out by this anyway. So uh, well played by Storm. I don't have any fantastic plays and in fact I'm pretty sure I'm dead. Uh, zero goes here, six. He's pushing 12. GG. Actually, there was a way I can potentially... I, there was a way I could have survived here, but I don't think it's even worth it. Um, it would be to, like, go, like, Chain Vest maybe on Siva, get the Wallet's place, summon the Sandstone Charger, then develop a unit all at burst speed. You know, challenge, challenge. Now we're still dead. Demacian, oh, played. So, like, yeah, I think that's another fantastic now way to build Viego. I don't think Viego is necessarily that weak to aggro. If you think about it, think about like Nas's Thresh, that kind of shell. That's never really been weak to aggro. Because you're just, a, you're fighting so extremely 
you're extremely aggressive fighting for the board. And then you have like merciless hunters and good trades and then much beefier stat sticks. In fact, I would argue that like that kind of V or that Viego deck may be a bit different depending on whether or not they're playing Radiant Guardian. But like the Viego Shurima variant should be fine against aggro. So we have the rematch here. I'm feeling confident we might be able to choose a win. Oh, hello there. Obviously, Islander is pretty oh, sus. Oh, we have a much better curve. So let's see how that goes. Scores to settle, crooks to kill. You know how it is. In and out. If I get the sharp side hey, out now, it's fine. That? Holy shit. Are we just... Are we Okay. I was going to say, are we really just sharp siding oh, here? Like, I could have Shapestone. Spooky Karma is still killing it. 8 1 now. So you were 7 and 1 like yoinks ago. Now we're 8 and 1. Fantastic. Villains beware. I haven't. I still have the deck copied. I have to remind me to. I have to remind myself to save it. I wonder if we should have played a little bit more aggressive here. Honor is the rust on a dull blade. I need like a solid 30 minute break between games. I need that too with Lee Sin. Wow, an original deck? Yeah, thanks, man. She waits for me beyond the mist, my queen. Um. You're covered. So as I said, like Viego is just here to soak up pressure as we get later into Cythria. I'm still gonna kill it though. Don't get me wrong. Second Akshan becomes quite useful here. Cool, I we want to go as aggressive. Like we want to go world. as aggressive as possible this turn. So that we can have like one more powerful swing. Like we have, we have two more very powerful attacks. Maybe one, depending on what he reduced with the Oblivious Islander in the early game. My guess is Matron. That would be the best choice. So we're gonna go like Relic of Power here. We're gonna look for like a buff on the entire board. Fresh catch. Well, it was fresh. Alternatively, we can draw cards. But we just might need that buff. Um. Honestly, how important is the buff here? Hang on. It's a living. My steel is yours. Wrap him up tight. You can block. Yeah, no, it's pretty important here, actually. We have enough resources in hand. What was theirs is now ours. We could actually be threatening lethal this way. Hey, what's that? We're just going straight up for lethal this turn. So he's gonna single combat, and we're gonna double commit. We're gonna go like the shapes sharp. We can go double sharp. I think that's safer. Think I got something. Time is money. Is double sharp safer?
Oh, we can go single this sharp. Hang on, we can go armor. single sharp here. Sorry, forgive me. Then we can go like this. And that should be actually lethal. This should guarantee lethal, even if, even if he has another single combat. Oh, uh, no, it doesn't. Sorry. So he'd be forced to a single combat with the Oblivious Islander into the Merciless Hunter. Two times sharp plays around another single. Okay, well, that's what we should have done then. It doesn't, however, really do much about his own. We would have bet that as well. Yeah, perhaps um, two times sharp side was just correct overall. We can still find lethal with the Sivus Ricochet though. I'm not too concerned. I think we might be straight vibing. Here, here it comes. Big Matron. Well, it's been fun. Okay, that's not Matron. I guess we're straight chilling. Cool eye batch. You like it? I mean, sure. Sadly, we don't get this. I think, yeah, I think I'm gonna. I don't know. I don't know about Vagabond too much. Scum. Honestly, don't know. May as well do this. GG Storm. I think we've versed each other like five times today. The real treasure is friendship. Yeah, Relax, two times a sharp sight was like guaranteed a lethal. Doesn't beat a it doesn't beat the single combat though. So he would he would single combat the bright steel protector. So maybe he's still alive regardless. Yeah, what's up, duckling? What's up, duckling? What's going on here? Let's do this. Almost got it. <laughs> the timing, bro. <laughs> oh, sick. You can take action and Talia or action and Sivitun. The region you want have a decent build. Yeah, I, I mucked around with a little bit of action and Talia. It was okay. It wasn't anything crash hot. It wasn't anything like sublime. Scores to settle, crooks to kill. You know how it is. Uh, Mystic shot check. This is justice. Yeah, Absolver, the, the idea was the Absolver with Talia, and then like, Akshan was just like, more support. Villains beware. It was actually really cool. I think the Absolver on Talia is actually very neat. No cappuccino. No cappuccino. Ah, uh, two mana Thermo Beam. I don't know what the fuck's happening. What are we versing? Ezreal Twist of Fate with a bunch of baboons. With a bunch of baboons here. Deal me in. It do be red card time. Who says I don't share? Can't steer. So we can potentially be tanking quite a fair bit of damage. We love it when they um, I guess we'll probably sacrifice the, uh, yeah. I can't tell if this is like a burn deck or what, so I'm not gonna, I'm gonna let Akshan go down. Making me miss Aussie coffee. Aussie coffee, hey. Aussie coffee's alright, hey. Not too bad. It do be the Ruin Runner angle. Chase 
what you want Without looks like we'll need to close out this game eventually We need to take value trades here. We need to take value trades. If it decides to put the baboon in, that's, that's fine. I'm also busting to go to the bathroom. Fuck. What did I miss? What happened? What did he do? He just passed. All right, cool. The world's a big place. Oh, that'd be Ezreal. Um. I think I'd rather stay at six. I think I would rather stay at six. He kind of found the wide board, that didn't he? No way. Okay. Knowing Duckling to pass there, you must have lethal. I do not. Okay, maybe not. What do you shuffle in? Oh, can I not? No long. Can I, can we no longer see what cards get shuffled? What was that? Cheeky golden Aegis. We need to see double get excited here exactly. Oh, if it's double get excited, or double, get excited, Mystic shot to my face works as well. Pardon me. If he has double get excited, he just goes for lethal, right? 